Former Davidson County Judge Casey Moreland learns his fate tomorrow. He faces nearly four years in prison after pleading guilty to obstruction of justice and theft. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall has reviewed court documents just unsealed by the federal judge who will sentence Moreland. He was once a powerful General Sessions judge, but Casey Moreland's nearly two year fall from grace will be complete when he learns how long he'll spend in prison. Federal guidelines call for a maximum sentence just shy of four years, but prosecutors will argue for five. Undercover videos and recorded phone conversations led to Moreland's guilty plea. In March of last year, he discussed planting drugs on his former mistress to discredit her, and he later pleaded guilty to embezzling cash from the drug court foundation that he founded. But Moreland's attorney filed court documents arguing his history of exceptional community activities poor physical condition and his mental and emotional health history should lead to a lower sentence. They discuss Moreland's rise to General Sessions judge from humble beginnings and even that he officiated college football games for more than 20 years. The documents also reveal Moreland's time in jail has taken its toll. Initially, Moreland was held with five other inmates who slept on the floor and shared one open commode. He was later transferred to solitary confinement for his own safety. A request by his lawyer to leave solitary was denied. The defense also filed several character letters. The longest was from Moreland's wife, who discussed his depression and drinking. She said after text messages of his affair became public, his mental condition deteriorated. The defense included an article about traumatic stress in judges. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. The defense also says Moreland cooperated with prosecutors by answering questions about other public officials. The final sentence will be up to Judge Waverly Crenshaw.